here's an iPad 4 that we received by mail today, coming from Connecticut. <coughs> iPad only ran for 20 minutes after setup, and now it doesn't power on. Name and password if needed. Also, if it cannot be repaired, keep it for parts, as I will have no use for it. Thank you, Lula Luna. Thank you very much, Luna. And uh, we're gonna try to fix it. This is the type of customer that I work very hard to please. A very generous customer. Nortish fix. Looks like brand new. It's still in its original packaging. It came with the plastic wrap, original box. When I plug this in the power, uh, our meter shows that uh, amps being drawn by the iPad is about 0 0.9, which is good. That means our, uh, our charging circuit is working. Power is reaching and the battery is charging. I tried to restore the tablet via iTunes to see if it's possibly a firmware issue. Uh, screen doesn't turn on. There's no backlight, no image at all on the screen. I tried uh, another screen on the tablet before I did this video and it's not a screen issue. Suck. Hi, how are you? Hi. Okay, so you're all good, you're all set. Where is J2200? Okay, so I had to redo this video. Yesterday I went home and I was trying to edit the video and I noticed a big portion of the video was corrupt. It's this one right here. If I try to open it now, it gives me an error message that the file is corrupt. I do not know how this happened. So uh, as you know, the, the first thing I did was plug the uh, iPad in the charger. It got recognized by iTunes. iTunes was able to see that this is an iPad 4 motherboard. This is good because it tells me that voltage is getting inside, the battery is charging. Uh, overall, the motherboard is working, but no display on the screen, nothing at all. I tried to restore uh, the, the iPad from iTunes and everything was restoring and working fine, but still no image on the screen. So uh, right now we have uh, two things I wanna test. The LVDS connector, which is the, the connector for the screen, and I wanna check for the backlight and see what's going on. Charger plugged in. And look at this. iTunes has detected iPad in recovery mode. You must restore the iPad. I already tried that, but the screen is still black. I know the LCD connector is uh, J2200, so we search for J J2200, and this is the LCD connector right here. So what I'm interested in is measuring to see if we have 3.3 volts on the connector. The connector needs the voltage in order to work. If the connector is not getting the voltage, then the connector is not gonna work and the screen is not gonna turn on. But it's very important that we get 3.3 volts on pins five, seven, four, six. We can measure any one of the pins and we should have 3.3 volts. Where is 3.3 volts coming from? It's coming from U2200. U2200 is supplied uh, by VCC main and by LCD VDD power enable. So uh, VCC main is like, uh, if you wanna think about it as, you can think about it as the electrical pole in the street that supplies power to your house. And as for the LCD power enable, you can think of it as the power switch in your house. So if you do not have an electrical pole that supplies voltage to the whole house, even if you turn the switch on, the light bulb is not gonna turn on. So we need to have uh, VCC main, so the chip is supplied power, and power enable is like the switch to turn the chip on or off. Both of them are needed to properly output the 3.3 volts. Now, if VCC main is present and power enable is present, and we still do not have 3.3 volts coming out of uh, pins three and five, what we can do is test for short, because this capacitor can short the circuit, this capacitor can short the circuit, and this capacitor can short the circuit. Uh, if we do not have a short, then uh, we can assume that the problem is U2200. So all this troubleshooting needs to be done if we do not have 3.3 volts. If we do have 3.3 volts, 
then the next thing I want to do is look at our backlight circuit. I've done a video on iPad 4 backlight circuit previously, and I explained it in details. But let me quickly go over it again. The backlight is uh, pins 45, 49, 48, and 46. You have two backlight circuits for the iPad, one for the left, one for the right side. And this is our backlight circuit. If we search for PP LED RAG B, and usually backlights are affected, uh, bad backlights uh, are affected by a bad diode, which is this one here, or this one here, or it could also be affected by the filters. The filters, which is uh, L2210 and L2200. So this is the most common reason why backlights go bad on iPads, the filters or the diodes. The first thing I want to do is test for the 3.3 volts at the LCD connector. So let me plug the screen in and then I'll do my testing. Screen is plugged in. Let me take a look at the schematic to see what we need to test. So we can test 5, 7, pin 4, or pin 6 for 3.3 volts. 4, 6, 5, 7. So where's pin 4, 5, 6, or 7? Okay, pin 4. Right here. So let's test. Let me plug our charging cable in. Just one second. Hey, buddy, how are you? Pretty good. All right, all right. Pick up the MacBook. Right. So let's flip the board and look at the U2200 IC. U2200 IC is right over here. If we can get this in focus. Ground and right here. A little bit low, but not too much. 3.7 volts. What about pin 2? Pin 2 is 0. So power enable is 0. I do not know if you can see the multimeter from far, but pin 2 is 0. So what we need to do is uh, look at where power enable is coming from. Back to our circuit. PM, LCD, VDD, power enable, out. This is coming out of the CPU, and the CPU is not supplying this voltage. It's not supplying this voltage. That means the chip is not going to switch on, and we're not going to get 3.3 volts on the output. We have three capacitors that leads to ground, so any one of them could short the circuit to ground. We are in diode mode right now. We're going to put the red probe on ground and the black probe on we're gonna test pin one pin two and pin three so this is our red probe here oh look at this we have a short on pin one so it could be why we do not have voltage coming out of the cpu because the line itself is short so what could be causing the short the only thing that could be causing the short is either the the chip itself or the capacitor, which is C2240. Let me check pin 2. Do we have a short on pin 2? We have a short on pin 2 as well. Uh, we just found a short on VCC main, and that's why the voltage was a little bit low. It was at 3.6 volts instead of being like 4.9 volts. Power enable should be around 3.3 volts. Uh, it's also short. Right now, since power enable is short, that tells us two things. There's no capacitor connected to the power enable line. It's either our chip that's creating the short or it's the CPU. When we notice that uh, power enable was zero coming out of the CPU, we do not quickly assume that the problem is the CPU. 
we have to follow the line. What is uh, power enable going to? It's going to the U2200 IC. So what if there's a short in U2200 IC that's uh, making the, the voltage go down to zero? That's possible and that could be what's happening. So that's why we're gonna remove the chip and we're gonna see if our short is gone. If we remove the IC and we still have the short, then our problem is a short from the CPU and we're gonna call it quits. Let's test if we still have a short on our VCC line or if the short is gone. And the short is gone. No short on our VCC line and no short on our power enable line. This has a warning thing that comes on and says check battery. Check battery. It means your battery is bad. That's right. Okay. So uh, that's what I told my wife. <laughs> I'll go get a new battery. Sure. Now we can test to see if we have 3.3 volts on pin 2 with the IC off. And we do not. Okay, so we have a big problem right now. We do not have 3.3 volts. Why is that? Power enable is coming from the CPU. The CPU is not supplying 3.3 volts, so it's a CPU problem. Pin 2 should be supplied by power enable. This needs to be on in order for the chip to work. This is the switch for the chip. And again, if we look for this, where is it coming from? Out from the CPU. This is the U0600. So our CPU is not supplying the voltage. So what's next? What's next is this board cannot be fixed because of a CPU issue. What we can do in the future uh, as an experiment is we can feed 3.3 volts at pin 2 of U2200 from an external power supply just for the curiosity of seeing if the screen would turn on. Now, since the CPU is not generating power enable, there could be other things wrong with the CPU. We do not know if the RAM is working properly. We do not know if other things are working properly. It doesn't make sense to, to troubleshoot and go into a rabbit hole of finding out what's wrong with the CPU. That's enough reason not to continue with the board and not to waste more time on the board. So right now, we're going to call it quits at this uh, moment. And um, we'll do something else in the next video.